So ladies and gentlemen, here are our ingredients. As you can see, there's some beautiful chicken. Chicken breast with skin on, sliced into quite big, generous pieces. That's outdoor reared, finest sausages chopped up. This onion is very strong, so I'm going to chop it up at the end, maybe even outside in the garden. I haven't made that in mind. And red and green peppers. We mustn't forget our South African case Sauvignon and Shiraz wine. I've already had a German lager. And this is our bread, which is from a German supermarket called Aldi. And it's a really nice ciabatta bread that goes into a hot oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. Then you slice it up and you butter it, and it's just marvellous. Better than having potatoes. Uh, yeah, that will do. So these are our kebabs. I've got, there's only two of us, so I've got two each there. And one which is the leftovers. So here we have our kebabs all frazzling in the olive oil. Now, they just stay in here for, you turn them once, they stay in the actual olive oil on its own just for about five minutes, turning once. Now the ciabatta, here it is, it's a bit of a strange shape this one. You do a strange thing with this before you put it in the oven and, you, and smother it all over with water so you get your hands all wet and rub it all over the ciabatta before you put it on the baking tray in the oven. So, um, here's the kebab that's all uh, cooking away in the olive oil and now we're just going to throw in some German leaf flour milk. Uh, it comes with about a glass and a half so it then starts sautéing uh, a bit of salt and pepper as well. It's a simple stock though, actually bubbling away in just olive oil, leaf flour milk and, and the juices from the, the various ingredients there. But uh, And then we, we cover this with a lid now so it does tend to sauté and uh, and start to render down more. This is like the cheapest bottle of wine I think you can get anywhere. Again it's from a German supermarket so it's Liebfrau milk like you might expect and I, I can't remember but it's not much more than uh, three pound a bottle. So here we are. I've turned the kebabs over once so there should be the lid on now and on their final ten minutes. And you can see there's the sauce. When you think that sauce is just olive oil and uh, German wine and a bit of leach out from the stuff I'm cooking with a bit of salt and pepper. I mean that's just it's such a beautiful sauce when you actually pour it over the the kebabs at the end. So I'm just about to serve it up. I can't stop to do this again. So this is a final shot of it. When it's on the plate we're gonna have to get on and eat it because it's so delicious. So there it is. It's had uh, 20 minutes with one turn in the actual wine olive oil mixture and uh, it's absolutely delicious. I suppose you could have all, add all sorts of spices if you want to do Middle Eastern spices to it, Chinese, Indian, who knows, but it's pretty plain as it is. Uh, peas are over there, they're boring, I won't bother to show you them. Uh, you stick it on the plate, you have your hunks of ciabatta which is gorgeous, which is all hot with your uh, butter all melting into it, or you have new potatoes, whatever you like. And uh, there it is, it's marvellous, I have to tell you.